Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to talk to you about how to restore Windows XP to factory settings. First of all, let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. Now to restore your Windows XP to the factory settings is, is actually pretty simple. There's a couple of different ways uh, that you can accomplish this. Um, I know that for me I have a, an old laptop where uh, I actually had to have the install disks and in order to restore it I could not do it through the, the computer alone. I had to actually insert the installed disks, delete the partition and reinstall Windows XP on the partition. Now with my newer XP, the one that we're doing this video on, um, it has the, the system restore feature and I can you know, go to my start menu. I can either restart my computer, turn it off, and then restart it either way. And as it, as it reboots, it will give me the option to go to my system restore. I think it's, I believe it's F10. And if I hit F10, it takes me to the system restore, walks me through the steps. It, it asks me two things. One, do I want to delete the computer completely? Do I want to completely restart from factory conditions? That, that means deleting all program files, all data files, basically everything. And it's starting brand new, fresh. Uh, you can choose that. They recommend not to if you don't need to, but believe me, from my experience, I recommend doing that. If you're going to do a system restore, you do it all the way. Uh, I have had so many problems restarting my XP, um, which is the other option uh, where you do basically a system restore and start it from factory condition, but you you uh, hold on to all of your data files that you have created. Of course, you have to still reinstall all your software. But I have found that I have many more glitches and problems with my Windows XP if I, if I do that. I prefer a fresh install and delete all those data files. But of course, you're going to want to back up all those files then on your CD, on a CD, DVD, uh, on an extra external drive, or on a second drive. As a matter of fact, I even take everything off my second drive uh, just in case something happens that gets deleted. So that way, my computer is completely starting over from scratch, both, uh, you know, everything. So that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to use an install disk. If you are, if you, if your Windows XP or if your your PC la laptop, PC desktop computer came with install disk, you can actually install those disks by putting them in and then of course running them, running them through the DVD ROM, and uh, then you can uh, follow the on-screen instruction and it'll ask you, you know, whether you want to delete or uh, delete your partition or whether you want to set up another partition or whether you want to delete your. Uh, or restore your system, whether you want to uh, reformat your drive, it gives you options and, and of course you're going to want to do any of those. You know, reformatting your drive is great because it, it completely erases your drive and starts from scratch and then you just reinstall uh, right after that or at the same time uh, your new operating system, your new Windows XP. Um, if you want to do a partition, you can actually install a fresh Windows XP on the exact same drive just in a separate partition. Uh, you can also install Windows XP, I believe, on your second drive. I've never done it. I always install it on my C drive, but I also have a D drive. Uh, so, but I've never done that, but I believe you can. So uh, I know you can. 